Hello, Ken and Danny here. Today we're gonna be talking about differences between a road bike and a cyclocross bike. Many of you have been wondering about what are the differences and quite a few people are thinking about buying just one bike that would be more versatile instead of uh, having two like a mountain bike and a road bike. So today we're going to compare two uh, different models. This is uh, our Merida Cyclocross 500. This is the bike I'm gonna be preparing uh, with for uh, our uh, championships in Poland in cyclocross and this is our training bike a lovely Cannondale Cat 10. Both bikes um, have aluminum frames with uh, full carbon forks and both have uh, um, quite a few uh, Shimano 105 11 speed components. So let's start uh, with the frame. Uh, of course uh, the race bike frame will be uh, lighter and today also the manufacturers will be more and more focusing on the aero style. This is not like super aero bike, this is very stiff, uh, light and also quite comfortable bicycle but uh, it won't be as comfortable as the cyclocross um, one so I'm gonna show you the differences. The head tube usually will be lower in the road bike so we'll have more aero positioning. We're talking about a specific racing road bike. This is not like the endurance uh, road bike, this is race road bike. As you can see uh, the head tube in the cyclocross uh, bicycle will be a little bit longer so we'll, we'll have more upright position and this one is uh, in size 56 centimeters, this one is 54 and still the head tube is um, uh, 5 millimeter, millimeters longer. Uh, then we can see the, um, this tube, the upper tube, that it's been flattened and also the shaping of it makes it uh, more comfortable for us to carry the bike. Uh, so there is no, nothing like this uh, in the specific uh, race uh, road bike. Um, as I've showed you before in the review of this bike, also the connection between the upper tube and the seat tube is strengthened because of uh, our jumping off and on the bike and also the seat clamp will be stronger there is uh, just you know the regular seat clamp here seat post clamp okay and also the rear triangle will be more specifically designed for absorbing some vibrations of course we've got this safe uh, and thin line technology in our Cannondale and most of uh, uh, well uh, made uh, road bikes today but this is uh, just to help us uh, you know stay in the saddle longer during the day but this one uh, we can use in the terrain and it will be more comfortable another thing is of course the fork uh, as I said we've got two full, full carbon forks but this one is shaped uh, and also it's quite thin it is super light it is uh, stiff enough for uh, our road bike racing uh, purposes uh, but as you can see in the cyclocross bikes uh, most of the forks will be just straight uh, they are very robust as you can see this one will be heavier than uh, the CAT 10 um, full carbon fork and it will take more punishment in the terrain uh, of course um, the huge difference is also the through axle that is used in this bike it's not being used in all cyclocross bikes today but now more and more more and more cyclocross uh, bikes will have this through very stiff ax axle instead of just the regular quick release for our uh, for our fork then of course the tire clearance as we can see here there is very little clearance. Uh, this is 25 millimeter tire and you wouldn't be able to use a much wider tire. Uh, and when we look at the fork here in our Cyclocross Merida, there's a lot of space, not only for wider tire. This one is already 35 millimeters, not 25 like in Cannondale. And you can see a lot of clearance for mud and all the dirt that will be coming through this place uh, during our cyclocross racing or just using it in the muddy terrain. Also the rear triangle is ready for taking a lot of dirt, a lot of leaves and anything that would stick to the 
to the dirt when we are riding and of course the road bike doesn't have to be uh, designed that way so it isn't. Uh, the next thing is of course the brakes. Uh, here, are, here are the regular uh, road bike brakes. These aren't as uh, strong as I will show you in the disc brakes and as you can see if there would be any mud coming through this uh, brake it would uh, quite quite uh, uh, easily get actually stuck here. Uh, this cyclocross uh, bike has the disc brakes. Of course, uh, we may use disc brakes in the road bike as well, but this uh, this will be stronger. Uh, and of course, uh, again, we have more space for mud and dirt here. Uh, as you can see, those are mechanical brakes. These are uh, Tektro uh, Spire C used in many cyclocross and gravel uh, bikes, uh, and these just work fine. Uh, many cyclocross bikes would still use uh, some cantilevers brake with of course more clearance and special shaping so that the mud will just go through uh, the wheel and this space in here. So we've got the, um, the frame, we've got the fork and the brakes, now uh, the handlebar. The handlebar could be a little bit um, wider in the cyclocross bikes. Uh, but I don't feel like I'm, I, I need it, uh, so in my uh, Canada Cat 10 56 cm uh, size, centimeter size uh, frame I've got 44 cm wide um, handlebar and in this one I've got 42 so it's even uh, shorter, uh, narrower in uh, 54 cm um, size uh, frame. Now. Uh, the shifters, the derailers and even the, um, the crankset is all the same. It's a Shimano 105, the crankset is um, uh, FSA Gossamer but um, uh, the gearing ratio will be different. Even though the cassette is also completely the same, it's um, 105 1 through 28 teeth. Cassette 11 speed but here in the front we've got 36 52 teeth so it's like a semi compact let's call it uh, but uh, in our cyclocross bike we've got uh, 36 uh, so it's same uh, like in uh, our road bike but the larger is 46 so it's 46 instead of 52 many road bikes would, ha would have uh, the ratio 39 53 but we have 36 46 here of course we are using our cyclocross bikes in in a terrain, let's call it on the gravel road, on some steeper uphills and um, we are willing to use the larger uh, cog uh, more often. If there would be some 52 or 53 teeth that would be, that would make it for us uh, much more difficult to use the larger gear. And then the uh, uh, pedals, these are the regular mountain bike clipless pedals. Uh, we are using something that would uh, work fine for mud and sand. So uh, this Shimano type or some Crank Brothers uh, egg beaters would be just great. <laughs> Since I'm using the same MTB pedals in my road bike, there's no difference, but actually road bike would have something like that. So it's one sided, you can, so you can clip on just from one side and it wouldn't be good for mud and terrain and also the shoes would be completely different we wouldn't be able to uh, walk or run as we can do, be doing it uh, during the cyclocross uh, racing. Uh, then maybe the last thing would be uh, the tires and the wheels. Uh, as you can already see the tires are wider in cyclocross bike but these tires would actually be useless during cyclocross racing uh, on uh, mud and and sand, I will tell you why in a minute. Um, but uh, as for the wheels, we can see straight away that uh, those wheels in the cyclocross bikes will be much stronger. Here we've got um, only 16 uh, spokes and in the cyclocross bike in this Merida we have 32, so it's twice as much, so the bike will be, uh, the wheels will be much uh, stiffer, stronger and will take uh, much more punishment. Now when you're thinking about buying a cyclocross bike instead of uh, owning two, uh, a mountain bike and a road bike, it might be a good option. Quite a few people are actually using these cyclocross bikes just as a commuter bike uh, and these just uh, work fine. Merida knows it, that's why 
uh, they use these tires these are Maxxis Overdrive XL uh, with this there is not no knobs for uh, mud and, and terrain this will just work fine on the um, tarmac and any roads that we are we are going through in the city but we can still use the bike um, on the gravel roads or in the forest so uh, this has much more versatility than the uh, road bike of course we can be using mountain bikes both on the, in the city and in the terrain but then um, on the tarmac on the low, long uh, roads we might feel that the mountain bike is um, heavier and we are not able to go as uh, as fast as we wanted to cyclocross bike will do just fine now we are also able to mount any racks or any accessories that you would need to uh, mount on your bike uh, during some longer rides also in the bad weather conditions so that you would be happy with this cyclocross bike uh, in terms of uh, pricing, uh, both bicycles, uh, this, this Canada Cat 10 and Merida Cyclocross 500 on Shimano 105 components would come in a similar price of uh, around 1300 euros. So um, if you consider buying one, a good bike, you may want to have a Cyclocross bike. If you've got more questions, just put them uh, in the comments below and I'll be happy to talk with you about it and see you soon in the next video.